about uh, 15 minutes before the start of Endure 24 and I'm um, looking forward to getting going and just seeing what happens today. I probably won't get another chance to check in uh, during the race. Uh, there's, a, there's a possibility of a, a couple of little breaks um, as I go, but uh, and I have done it in the past where I've done some, some videos, but I'm not gonna, gonna commit myself to anything. So I'll try and check in again at the end and uh, let you know how we're good. Hopefully 40 miles in the first eight hours. So by 8 p.m. Um, I should be all done. Uh, fingers crossed, Let's see how it goes. There we go, we're all done, 40 miles. Took about seven hours and, uh, and a few minutes, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, felt really good. I felt a little bit uncomfortable, maybe for a couple of laps at the end there from 30 to 40 miles, but all things considered, I'll, I'll take that. Um, absolutely zero done today with regards um, pursuing the goal. <laughs> Actually, that's not even true. That's not even true. I had two very interesting conversations. Um, one of them was with a guy who was running a stand of like electrolyte drinks. I, I used them on the course. So I just went over and said thanks. They were awesome. Um, anyway, it turns out he works for Deutsche Bank and they sometimes get people in to do talks. So we took my details down. So, hey, you know, I can still say I, I took a small step forwards. And I'm sure there's plenty of mileage in the events of the last seven or eight hours um, to bring into talks of in, in various uh, various different ways. Um, I, I really did. I, after the talk I gave yesterday, I sort of used everything that I talked about. Um, my process for writing that talk was very different to what I would normally use and um, it was uh, it was useful for me to kind of remind myself because the risk of just oh, just turn up and run an ultra marathon is that you don't respect it you don't take it seriously and that's where trouble starts so I kind of I did take it seriously I did respect it I did appreciate that I was very under physically prepared but at the same time knew that um, I had a good base so um, I I certainly used all of the mindset tools that I had talked about in the day before session anyway um, all good it's um, now about quarter to nine and uh, I've got to drive home but there's such a buzz I've just come over to the car to drop some stuff off there's such a buzz over there um, I'm gonna have to go back and uh, hang out by the fire pit and watch some more of the runners come through um, it's just such an awesome event I'm so bringing in a big team out here next year um, I posted in the on the wagon group yesterday it's with a little video of some of the um, some of the the, the atmosphere the night before the, the big day and uh, said, you know, who's up for coming along, either as a solo, as a pair, as a small team, big team. Um, and loads of people have expressed an interest. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, looking forward to looking forward to coming back here. And just really pleased that I did it. I wasn't planning, obviously, I said earlier, I wasn't planning on doing this at all today. So um, pleased with my 40 miles. It's a bit weird sort of tapping out at this point. Um, getting my medal and there's still like 16 hours to go and I'll be up tomorrow at nine o'clock taking row into a football tournament and thinking to myself well actually they'll still be running and they've got three more hours to run yet and uh, and here I am just going about normal everyday stuff so that's going to be a little bit weird tomorrow but um, it is what it is I feel like I've got a bonus uh, a bonus 40 miler in there which I'm very proud of and pleased with and um I'm going to head back over and uh, chill out, hang out for a bit, and then I'll drive back and uh, probably have a shower and go to bed, I expect. <laughs> anyway, I'll check in again tomorrow. Um, thanks a million, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.